Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Now, if you don't know already, I'm a political commentator who is critical of political corruption and stupidity, no matter on what side of the political aisle or pond it rears its ugly head. So, if you're a person who loves nonpartisan political commentary, then make sure you click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you won't miss any videos. With that being said, let's get into it. I've been seeing a lot of commentary going around about this particular subject matter and I just had to say something about it because it's been frustrating the heck out of a lot of people on both sides of the political aisle. So I wanted to talk about the two primary ways woke politics are weaponized against the left. So first, it allows liberals to do absolutely nothing. Do you all remember when Nancy Pelosi, who's the Speaker of the House, and Chuck Schumer, who is the Senate Majority Leader, did the thing where they had the Kente cloth on and they took a knee? So they were doing both the Africa thing and supporting Colin Kaepernick regarding what he was doing with the whole police brutality thing. So everybody was like, oh, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the people were talking about Breonna Taylor and naming a street after her. And then some politicians in particular cities were painting Black Lives Matter on streets. It was all of this stuff that made you feel really good. But here's the problem. They weren't actually doing anything legislatively. Let me tell you what they'll do. They'll use the first year to do a bunch of woke gestures, right? But then the second year, guess what they'll tell you? Oh, wait, we, we didn't pass any legislation? Well, don't worry, we'll get to it in the next term because, you know, we can't do nothing now because it's an election year. Then the next term comes around for the next year and they'll do what? A bunch of woke stuff regarding whatever situations are occurring at that time. And then another year will pass then when the next year comes up, they're like, oh, we can't do nothing now because it's a presidential election year. And they just keep doing that every other year. And guess what it does? Like I said, allows liberals to do nothing because people think that progressives and liberals are on the same side. We're not. Progressives can't stand liberals. Why? Because liberals are fake leftists. What liberals do is liberals do all of that woke stuff so that they don't actually have to pass the policies that actual progressives want to pass. It drives progressives absolutely nuts, but people conflate the two as though they're the same. They're not. We don't even think that liberals are really on the left. They're just acting like they're on the left because it gives them a little more leeway than it does the people who are on the right. Now, the second thing, it justifies right wing frustration. Now, I'm just going to keep it real. You may not like right wingers or you may love right wingers. But the problem here is that they're right when it comes to a lot of this woke stuff. They see that people are causing all these chain reactions of events with this woke crap. What they're doing is they're causing people to get canceled. People can't even say certain things. People can't even open doors for women because they'll say, are oh, you being misogynist? It's just all type of craziness that comes with this whole woke culture. But guess what? The people who are rich, they love it because it allows both sides to just be at each other's throats. But it's actually not a both sides thing because people who are actually on the left are getting attacked for stuff that they don't even agree with really because the people who are liberals are acting like they're on the left and they're doing the stupid woke stuff and the people on the right are attacking them thinking they're on the left. So it's a win-win for the rich people who are screwing everybody over. So moral of the story, we have got to stop allowing gestures of solidarity to replace actual effective policy legislation. So now, I want to hear from you. What's your opinion on this subject matter? Put it in the comment section and don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell before you go. Thank you for watching. 